Hello again and welcome back to yet another Try Hard Diablo 3 guide. Today we're going to be covering Sweeping Winds on the Monk. It's just going to be a short one today guys, but I'm going to go over how you can use Sweeping Winds for your advantage with a bit of weapon swapping to actually make farming a bit more, kind of, um, a bit more efficient and uh, a bit easier. Um, this probably will be changed in the future patch. Uh, it's not, um, it's, you know, it's, you're not going to get banned for it. It's not an exploit or anything. It's just a pretty good use of game mechanics and, uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it's it's safe to use, so don't, don't worry about that. And it's uh, it's really really effective. So, what I'll I'll do first of all is explain how sweeping winds works. Obviously, uh, so when you put on sweeping winds, it does AOE damage around you. With cyclone, it shoots cyclones out. So what you do with this kind of trick is you um, when you when you first apply sweeping winds, uh, it'll screenshot your your damage right there. So forty nine thousand four hundred fifty three point five zero. It'll take that damage and make that sweeping winds do that amount of damage. So pretty much what you're doing is you are getting as much DPS as possible before using Sweeping Winds. So I'll be using uh, Breath of Heaven that gives me 15% damage, so that's 56k, or almost 57. And then you're going to use Blinding Flash, like that, and then it'll give you 77,000 damage. Now when Sweeping Winds is going, it'll be doing 77,000 DPS, which is, you know, crazy, or whatever your DPS is, as high as you can get it. And then what you're doing is you're swapping to two weapons with really high life on hit, um, the, the DPS isn't important. Okay, so I'm putting on two weapons. It's giving me 15,000 DPS. That, that number's not important. So I'm going to have these weapons on, but I'll be having 70,000 DPS sweeping winds going around me uh, at the same time. So I'll be doing 15k DPS plus 70k sweeping winds. So pretty much the idea of this is you get two really, really high life on hit weapons. Uh, ignore the gem there. I know it's bad. But in total, you know, 1,897 uh, life on hit. And that almost makes you invincible. I mean, that 2k life on hit is crazy. So you have crazy DPS going from Sweeping Winds combined with uh, 2,000 life on hit almost. And these weapons are cheap. I mean, these two weapons in total cost me uh, 200k each. So again, so you're, you're getting on your two weapons. You're getting as much DPS as possible. And then Sweeping Winds. And then swapping weapons and keeping Sweeping Winds up. It's, uh, it's really good. It's... Um, you know, it, it, it's crazy. I'm going to show you some clips in a sec, and we'll go over it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, once you learn how to do it, like, efficiently, it, it speeds up farming because you, you get to the point where almost you just can't die and you're doing almost as much DPS as you normally would. Um, like, I can stand in Molten and Plagued uh, and not take damage with 2,000 life on hit, which is brilliant. Um, so, oh, yeah, and the other thing is, okay, so to equip your weapons is you, you right-click the first one and you hold Alt on your keyboard, and that'll equip your second one. So you can swap your offhand with Alt uh, by holding that and clicking. So once you get quick at it, um, you can really, you know, get efficient. All right, so let's see it in action. Um, as you can see here, I've, I've kept up my uh, character kind of panel uh, the entire time. Just so you can see, I'm actually using the low DPS weapons. Um, like right here, shielding mobs, teleport or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just standing there tanking them, no problem. Like here, for example, reflect damage. I just click and hold on the main guy. As you can see, everything's dying pretty quickly, and that's just with my sweeping winds DPS with 14k uh, weapon DPS going at the same time. So this trick, I did test it out with a couple of uh, you know 30k DPS uh, weapons and stuff, and it works just as well. Like you can do Act Three with 30k DPS weapons and swap to something around 15k with the life on hit, and it's really uh, really good. Uh, another thing is with the weapons you pick, make sure you pick really fast weapons. So um, daggers or the the kind of monk weapons you normally use as well, uh, the fist weapons. They're really quick because then obviously the more you attack, the more life and heat you're getting back. Um, so you don't as as well. You don't always need to use this. So like if there's mob packs you don't have really a problem with, um, don't weapon swap when you when you come up to them. Just uh, just weapon swap if you have to. Like here I went low health. So I weapon swapped to the life on hit ones, almost as a cooldown. I use it kind of as a cooldown. I, when I get low health, I swap to them, heal up, swap back. Uh, once you get quick at it, it's a bit of a hassle, but once you get quick at it, it's uh, really effective. Like, here, I don't need it on these mobs. They die so quickly, so I just don't, you know, really bother using it. Um, as you get practice with it and get good at it, you kind of f figure out kind of which mobs you, uh, you can get away with not using it on. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it just for today. Uh, I just wanted to go over that really quickly because it, it is helping me farm at the moment. Um, I recently upgraded my DPS pretty high and I lost quite a bit of health. So some of the mob packs are uh, being a bit more annoying than usual. So I just tested that out one time. I was actually drunk when I figured it out. And it, it works out really well. So 
Um, just, I mean, I know it's not for everyone. I know swapping gear around and stuff is kind of lame. Um, but I mean, if it's gonna help and it's gonna make your farming a bit quicker, it's it's something good. Um, it's not an exploit. I've you know checked this multiple sources. It's not an exploit, so don't worry about it. It is just a clever use of game mechanics. So enjoy it. Hopefully, it's uh, it helps some of you monks definitely. Um, just make sure again, fast weapons, high life on hit, costs no money, um, works in all the acts, acts one through four, and it's uh, it's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> but again, they're probably gonna swap it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised in 1.04 notes if we're gonna see, uh, you know, like oh, sorry guys, we're uh, we're making it so sweeping winds is determined by the weapons you're wearing, not the weapons you were wearing when you swapped. But yeah, we'll see. All right, guys. Also, um, the 1.04 uh, should actually the information should be out in the next few days. So I'm gonna be making a video on my thoughts and opinions on what they're changing and how it's going to affect each class and just how it's going to affect the game. So stay tuned for that. Um, as well, um, check out my latest guide was the Demon Hunter and the f latest guide other than that was the Barbarian. So check out one of those two if you haven't. Um, and the Witch Doctor guide is going to be out next week. My aim is to get it out before 1.04 and then, uh, well, I mean it depends on 1.04 is coming out. but. Preferably before 1.04, but the only problem is if they change Witch Doctors that much, then it might be a bit redundant when uh, 1.04 hits. So we'll, we'll see, but it should be out next week, pretty much guaranteed. Um, I have my, my Witch Doctor fully geared up and stuff, so he's uh, he's looking pretty good right now. So yeah, but yeah guys, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to tune in the live stream as well. I'll see you guys later. Bye.